Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan and thank you for joining us for our Thursday update for May the 4th. High pressure, it remains just to the east of New Zealand and it's with us through to the start of next week. However, by Wednesday next week, it looks as though New Zealand will finally get a southerly change and that'll be before the next high pressure zone arrives next weekend. So let's try and make sense of what is going on at the moment. So the culprit behind the warm, wet, humid weather around many parts of New Zealand, this enormous high pressure zone to our east, 1040 hectopascals, that's pretty big, and it's stretching all the way up to Fiji, and that airflow coming down and around and over New Zealand, especially over the North Island today. The South Island, not quite as warm as it was the day before, However, you're still leaning warmer than average, but we're seeing records being broken, not surprisingly, around parts of the country, including Whanganui, Invercargill and Queenstown have all had temperatures broken this week. Over in Australia, low pressure in between us and a southerly change about to come in for you. So perhaps a bit more of a classic autumn weather pattern for Australia. Let's have a look at the rainfall as we've been doing this week, uh, 24 hour blocks. So this is today's block, Thursday from uh, six o'clock in the morning through till six o'clock Friday morning. The heaviest rain is in this line right here. So the far north, the upper part of Northland and down around Taranaki, those areas look most exposed. And then as you can see, it also comes in to some degree around Nelson and Marlborough. As we go through tomorrow, Friday, there is that line of very heavy rain and it's lining directly up with the Nelson Ranges, Takaka and those areas. So there could be in this area here, 125 millimetres of rain in one day. That's a lot for Nelson. That does cause um, slips with the roads. Uh, most of the rivers around there should be able to cope pretty, pretty okay with that. Unless it falls in even less than 24 hours, then it could be more of a problem. But this is worth keeping an eye on, this rainfall here. And it's still flirting with the upper North Island and even Taranaki to some degree as we go through Friday. Over in Australia, uh, this is not a 24 hour map, this is 72 hours and nowhere near as much rain in Australia, just a little bit down here around Victoria and uh, a little bit around Adelaide as well and Tasmania and that is from that next cooler change on the way which you see here on Friday. So in it comes, classic cold front, Adelaide, Melbourne, Hobart, you'll all get a temperature drop at around about the same time and that's a really big distance. You know, that's, when you look at the length of New Zealand, you're all getting that cold front at basically the same time on the clock uh, as it arrives in, maybe a little bit later for Melbourne. So that's a cold change for you, but in New Zealand, it doesn't change. Still warm, still wet in the north and the western side of the country. Basically, the, the north and the west of both main islands, they've got the highest risk for wet weather on Friday. And it doesn't change a great deal on Saturday. You can still see heavy rain around that Nelson Takaka area, and we're still seeing rain clipping uh, the north. The wind's turning a little bit more northeasterly again. They've swung around a bit more northerly in the last day or so. That will bring a bit more wet weather into places like Coromandel, Bay of Plenty, but the totals aren't huge. Just go to ruralweather.co.nz, have a look at our rainfall totals. It's been pretty good this week. It's been a pretty accurate guide. It does move around a bit because it updates every one hour, but you do get a good idea as to what is generally coming in. Over here on Saturday, you can see that cold change, the blue line showing air thickness. In other words, how much moisture is in the air and there's not much as this comes on through. That cold change sort of biting into the atmosphere and you'll feel the temperatures down on Saturday and on Sunday. In fact, it goes up to Sydney on Sunday with a temperature drop and low pressure out here just helping to squeeze that southerly up a little bit more. You'll even feel it in Brisbane, although, um, you know, well, you never know, actually. I've got, my aunt lives in um, Brisbane and uh, they certainly put heaters on and wear jerseys when we probably wouldn't um, and sweaters and things. Um, and then probably the same here in New Zealand. We put on clothes when other countries say, my gosh, my other family in Canada think our winter is ridiculously warm and yet we're always moaning about how cold it is. Anyway, I digress, but uh, yeah, that's southerly. It'll be getting up to about Queensland as well as we go through Sunday, but no real change in New Zealand. Still nor'easters, still northerly, still raining and showery and drizzly, but it's not raining non-stop for everybody. You can see some dry spells, quite a lot of them in the north there. So next week, no great changes still. Southerly still blasting through by Sydney with temperatures down for you. Northerly still coming in for the South Island and the North Island, warmer than average for New Zealand. And some low pressure up here near Tonga, just producing a little bit more in that humidity for that northerly coming down to New Zealand. And it stays that way onto Tuesday, but here is the change. That southerly from Australia, finally moving over towards us. Now that southerly still going all the way up into Queensland. 
Um, you'll have all your heaters on because it's 20 degrees instead of 25. But over in New Zealand, the Northwest is blowing through, still warm, but there's that southerly. So our final map for Wednesday of next week, it's like what we showed you at the start of this week with that sneak peek. Not a great deal of change. It could still change to some degree, but the main drivers, two enormous high pressure zones, one departing to the east, the next one coming in. And so when they're to our east, we get the warm northerlies, but when they're out over on this side, on the Australian side, that's the southerly. So we get a cold change in the middle of next week, the humidity finally stops, and by the end of next week, most places have a temperature drop, and then of course, in comes the high for next weekend. So there's a lot going on with our weather at the moment. It's pretty, I'd say it's classic autumn, except it's not really classic autumn in New Zealand. We're seeing well above normal temperatures, but next week, hopefully a bit of a change, resetting back to where we should be. That's all from me. See you again on Friday with our next update.